they didn't mean to hurt you, but they did you down and dirty. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. They honestly, I feel like what happened was they, to them, it was a misunderstanding. I'm not trying to say it is. I'm trying to say what they're thinking. I think you're getting some confusing energy from them, commun confusing communication from someone. This is the energy they're trying to send your way. I think this confirms what's already in your spirit. If this is for you, maybe you already know this, maybe not. I'm not trying to say forgive the person, but I do just really feel a message. For, I don't know. This is really heavy all of a sudden. Is it just someone really upset? But whatever they did, I mean, they did it consciously. You know, it wasn't like anyone tricked them into it. But it's some, still there's some kind of reason why, you know, maybe this is just someone who just can't take responsibility. But I think in some situations, like, they just wish they could talk it out with you and just tell you their side. That they wouldn't do this to you again. I don't know. This is for you to decide. But I'm telling you that, you know, I really think whatever it was, even though it was terrible, down and dirty, whatever it was, it was not with the intention of hurting you. And that's, you know, that's no excuse. I, again, I just feel like it's, they feel like they were treated unfairly. It's, maybe they thought you were broken up or they, they thought you had moved on. They I don't know. But they did something they wouldn't have done if they had different information, I think. And again, I don't know, even, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with that information. I'm just relaying a message. Couple more cards. I paint outside the lines. Release your fear. I think this refers to a creative way of dealing with this. Like, this just means different kind of solution to a problem. Your fear, I think, is that they're going to do this to you again. And I, I just, however this resonates for you, honestly, I'm not really sure what to say about this card and how it re relates to the rest of this reading. It might, it might make sense to me if I pull a few more cards, but maybe this is for you to fill in the blank here but you're there's just nothing for you to fear about this like i think it's about talking to the person i think that maybe you know if you if you're confused i think that the fear is that i mean i think you're afraid to even talk to them whatever happened i'm not trying to push you toward talking to them because you know might you might have a good reason like maybe they seem dangerous i, I don't think that's what this is that's that's what this is if that's the person in your life then this reading's not for you probably i think this is just someone who just wants to talk to you and i don't think you actually feel danger from them or harm from them and i i, I don't know it this is just really interesting you're supposed to release your fear about it and i'm not trying to put you again you know if you just keep feeling that fear if there's just something in your spirit that's like i don't want to meet with this person I don't, then you know your answer Maybe that's what I'm supposed to tell you. I think, yeah, you know, now I'm starting to get a feeling. This pain outside the lines of what I'm supposed to really tell you is this is about you. This release your fear as far as release your fear as far as your spirit, as far as trusting your spirit. That's what you need to do. I think you're afraid to trust yourself. You know the situation. You know the solution. You already know the answer to this. You know if you can trust this person again, and I think that's what I'm supposed to tell you. It's not the answer is not supposed to come from me. I'm supposed to tell you that you already know, and you're going to get some kind of confirmation, whatever it is. It's going to be something you don't expect. You're going to get some kind of confirmation from God, from the universe, that this, you know, whatever the next step is in the, along this path. But just whatever it is, it's something that has occupied a lot of your time and energy, wondering what happened, where did you, where did this go wrong. And, again, it's it's all about listening to your spirit. You decide if you want to talk to this person or not. Walk in love. Don't let them get to you. Don't, you know, just... Don't let them pull you out of the high, higher vibrating emotions, is what I'm supposed to say. Like, don't let them make you angry or sad. If that's, if that's what happens, then you just need to go. Like, you know, that'll be the point in your spirit well you're i think that's what your spirit will be guiding you through those emotions okay like if something really makes you angry or sad, you have to tell them you know tell the person like let's say you sit down and talk well this must be a really complicated heavy conversation you're supposed to have like when you sit down and talk to them like just remember just keep reminding yourself to walk in love like if you have to keep reminding yourself that too much though that could be your answer like if you, if the if your emotions all are all over the place that could be spirit talking to you honestly that's what I'm supposed to tell you. I know that sounds crazy, but that's the message I'm getting. Is just keep reminding yourself that you need to walk in love with this person. And if they keep pulling you out of that emotion, I mean, and not that love, I mean, love is an emotion. It's more of like an action. But what I mean is if they, if you, all of a sudden you don't feel like walking in love, that's your answer. It's your cue to leave. It's your cue to cut this off. You are not lonely. You're alone, but not lonely. Like, you are not lonely enough to deal with this. Put it that way. Like, you, you know, if, if you're a determining factor, if you finally decide that this just isn't for you, that 
your spirit says no just just know that I mean, just don't do anything out of fear i think maybe that's the fear release your fear that you're going to be lonely that without this person that could be what this is release your fear about this is the only person that's ever going to happen for you or this is the only person that's ever going to do it for you that you need to forgive them because you just think you're going to not find anyone like them no it's not true use that person to manifest someone else this is how they feel about you you're their angel they really honestly i'm just getting that sense like, again i'm not trying to say that you have to get back together with them but i really am just getting some deep remorse here like someone who really just didn't know what they were doing didn't understand the decision they were making didn't understand the finality of the decision thought they'd still have another chance didn't know you would just walk away like that but you did you just walked away emotional exhaustion Ooh. i think that's maybe describes how you feel about this situation or again what i said about walking in love like if this person exhausts you even more that's that spirit telling you what to do this is a really complicated situation for you, I think. And I think a lot of it that maybe you're going to card readers, there's probably someone who may have already paid for readings from people. I don't offer personal ones, just collective, but um, I think you're really looking for answers if you're seeing this reading. And especially if you watch this far, I think that you are already emotionally exhausted from this. And I think that this person is going to just lead to more of that for you. I just, again, I think that's your cue. Like, I don't, I think you really need to spend some time with yourself and look and wonder just meditate pray spend some time with your thoughts and ask yourself was this really what you thought it was was this relationship was it really good for you or did it drain you is maybe that's your answer um because i you know i'm getting reminded like this you're my angel you know alone like didn't mean to hurt you i'm just getting this, this all these cards to me line up to someone who's just very you know sometimes people can manipulate with this stuff they can manipulate with niceness and that's a good thing i mean really i shouldn't call it manipulating but i mean manipulating in a bad way like they don't have the best intentions but they're sweet you know like covert narcissist type of thing and i i think just again don't be afraid to be alone without this person this if your spirit tells you that this isn't the right thing that's not the right thing please don't do anything out of fear do not be manipulated out of fear what they did to you is bad and you know even though they didn't mean to it doesn't mean they won't do it again and it doesn't mean that they've healed it doesn't mean it does, maybe this happened for a reason to end the situation to end the relationship i'm going to just pull a few cards from this manifestation deck speak a few things into your life okay. pull these two at once you are unstoppable you are powerful yet humble yeah that you have the power you have the strength to leave the situation you are unstoppable you have the strength to fly right away from the situation i'm getting like these wings flying you are unstoppable i just feel like i'm supposed to tell you to just keep going from it you know again i'm not trying to sway you like again this is up to you but you need to go back and ask yourself what is spirit telling you what have you already felt from this what is your what are your emotions telling you i think sometimes we don't realize we think we have to go against what our emotions are telling us because we think well no i'm going to do it anyway i'm going to suffer for this you don't have to do that you don't have to do that you just need to quit letting this person drain you i think they really did exhaust you but you are unstoppable you are powerful yet humble let's speak the life back into you i feel like i need to speak the power back into you because some this really really drained you no more i just think you got your answer already your intuition is strong like i was saying about this follow your intuition your intuition is going to guide you your intuitions are working through your emotions your emotions are not supposed to be drained like that your intuition is strong and it will guide you and you will come out of this situation stronger. You are unstoppable. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen.